kind of like a lie detector test. You can act all, you can act as tough as you want out here. You can act as tough as you want on the street. You get in that ring, and somebody's in front of you willing to rip your head off. You're gonna show your true colors. <laughs> Kids who get into the gym when they're seven, eight, nine years old have an enormous advantage, even over somebody who's in there when they're 12 or 13. Uh, get him ready. You get scared. You can, you can see it in all kids' faces, but the whole point, you got to get that out of them. These guys, they're brand new. I mean, this is about the fourth generation of kids I've been through. You know, I go to different gyms, and I see a lot of kids, you know, hardship. You know, I see that desire in their eyes. I see that hunger, that, that willpower. There's about 50 gyms in the perimeter of about 50 miles. I mean, this goes back more than 100 years of having boxing in the blood. You see these, you know, you see them growing up as, as kids, you know, and, uh, um, and you always think one of these days. No, no, yes, sir. I just think they're the best, period. You know? We just gotta go tell everybody else. They're the next De La Hoyas, I believe. Or the Floyd Mayweathers, or uh, Shane Mosley's. Those people just rose up and said, you can't do this to us. I would call it the new Ellis Island in the sense that it's the gateway, it's the entryway into America. It's something that you can tie to everyday struggles. I mean, uh, people, they can't quit, they can't, or, or they starve. And boxing's kind of the, the closest thing to it. The entire history of the United States is a history of a battle over what it means to be in America.